Hey, economics my senior in high school. My economics teacher hated me with a burning passion. He hated me so much that if I were to appear drowsy, uninterested, or plainly I just wasn't staring him in the eyes for the entire class period, he would make the assumption that I was high. He would then kick me out of class and send me straight up to the campus cop's office and each time the campus cop came to the same conclusion, that I was not high. There's a simple <laughs> explanation for that, it's because during my four years of high school I had not done any drugs whatsoever and in my personal experiences, economics teachers don't tend to be the nicest people. <laughs> so, but today, if you want to learn how to make six digit salary right out of college, Right now is when you should listen up, because today I'm going to be talking about the economics course here at Fullerton College. I will be going through three main topics pertaining to the economics course. First, I will discuss how to prepare for the economics course. Second, I will discuss what the economics course will go over. And third, I will discuss what occupations an economics degree can lead you into. We'll begin with how to prepare for your economics course. First, you need to make sure you meet the requirements for the economics course. You only need to worry about this for Econ 101 and Econ 101 Honors. The only requirements are Math 40 or Math 41. Next, you need to make sure you have a Canvas account. If you don't have a Canvas account, make a Canvas account. Having a Canvas account ensures that you will have your classes linked up to your Canvas. It also ensures that you can check your professor's syllabus and the required books and materials ahead of time. I would also recommend some supplementary reading such as the Wall Street Journal, the New, uh, New York Times, and The Economist. Finally, do not be afraid to find your class ahead of time. Pull up a Fullerton College map and find what building your class is located in. Show up on time just so you can pick whatever seat you want in the class to further your academic success. Next, we'll talk about what the course will cover. You will go through your introduction phase, which most people tend to ask, what is economics? Economics is the study of choices. You will then be reintroduced into supply and demand, followed by two types of markets. The markets will be a free market and a controlled market. After the introduction, you move into policies. There are two main policies covered in this class. The policies will be a fiscal policy and a monetary policy. After the policies, you go into international economics. The first thing you will learn is international trade and international finance. After you discuss uh, class courses, you will move into the occupations. But before we get into occupations, I would like to show you a graph. This graph shows that the average American makes $60,000 average a year, but I already promised you a six-digit salary. That means 100000 minimum. So the first occupation that an economics degree will lead you into is a lawyer. Having an economics degree allows you to apply for law school. Applying for law school allows you to learn all the required material that you need to become a lawyer which allows you to test for the bar, which allows you to become a lawyer in any selective given state you choose. An average income for a lawyer is 120000 The second job is a compensation benefits manager. The compensation benefits manager will develop, plan, and oversee ways to compensate employees. These people will tend to make upwards of $121,000 annually. The third job will be an actuary. An actuary uses mathematics and statistics to predict things such as illness, death, fires, and business failures. Actuaries tend to make upwards of $102,000 annually. Today we talked about the economics program here at Fullerton College. We covered how to prepare for the economics class, what the economics course will cover, and what occupations an economics degree can lead you into. Hopefully you don't have to go through the same experiences that I went through with an economics teacher. Thank you so much for listening.